This is not Call of Duty, it's Roblox. Man, I love seeing stuff like this on like mainstream Twitter. People showing a really good looking Roblox game and people are like amazed that it's on Roblox. It gives me a, a sense of proudness of the website. I started playing in 2000, early 2008, uh, back when the trailer was this. Uh, this is the video they used to hype up Roblox. You know, in hindsight, like, no, nobody would play this now, but back then, this really hyped us up. You know, over the past, like, 15, 16 years, I feel like I've I've raised a baby and I've I've watched it grow into this successful thing. Um, except I, I had nothing to do with this. I didn't, I've never really contributed to Roblox. So it's, instead of a baby, it's like, uh, it's like I abandoned the baby and uh, he got really good at football and I'm sitting back, you know, watching him on the Super Bowl say, that's my boy. And that's good enough for me. I, I don't, I, I feel just the same as I, as I would have if I've raised the child, except I saved time. Yeah, this is Frontlines. This is a really, really, really good game. Like this, ah! this game sucks. No, I, I knew games could look this good on Roblox. Oh God. I never knew that they could actually run this well. Like for the longest time, the, the top uh, FPS game on Roblox is Phantom Forces. Ah! Ah! Stop. Ooh. Dude, ah, things are disconnecting. But look at this, it's beautiful. I'm gonna play a different map. I kind of want to go over all the games that are like, uh, how is this on Roblox worthy? There's a few of them out there. This one's definitely the most popular one now. Roblox has a bunch of useless little categories. They need one just for uh, like really good looking games. That's what this showcase category should be. Instead, you have furry detector where it detects if anyone on your friends list is a furry. Ro I think Roblox should make way better. Wow. Roblox should make way better use of their categories to promote uh, stuff like this that maybe takes like a higher end computer to run. Like this game has uh, kill cams that actually look good. Like, okay, thank you for the proof. Ugh! Oh, you saved me. Oh, I'm the best, I'm the best. Oh, all right, that was pretty sick. Oh, that was pretty sick too. Ah! Oh, all right, there we go. We are on a roll actually. You know, I, I like playing Roblox first person shooters uh, because it's usually like little babies little babies playing and it's usually a little easier but it's kind of getting hard actual people who actually play games are starting to play roblox now so nothing's nothing's easy anymore flamingo are you the real one um yeah it's me flamingo i'm real oh. all right I, I got him off my case oh you're mad oh uh, i want to talk trash to the other team they need a they need a feature to just only talk to the other team what the Zoom in! You're broken! Stop! It's not perfect. I don't know if the developer wants me to show this on video. This is Roblox, by the way. You can just join this on uh, a Roblox account. And you got some, like, need for speed looking game. This isn't finished. It doesn't seem like it's close to be 58% low. I've been saying this for years. Uh, I don't think it's a, a hot, like a like a hot take or anything anymore, but Roblox definitely hasn't been a kid's game for years now, but I think you just need like good graphics to have people catch up on what the game actually is. Get them get them interested. If someone sees a Lego character, they're going to think it's for drooling stupid babies because Roblox used to only want drooling babies on their platform pretty much because they would just ban anything that seemed slightly controversial or bad. And you know, I'm not trying to cope because you know, I am old and near my grave uh still playing Roblox after all these years. Uh eh, saying it's not a kids game, but it's really not. So does look kind of ridiculous my little lego character next to these realistic mountains like i think roblox wants a lot more games like frontlines like uh they're adding a lot more adult or like upper teen adult related themes like profanity gambling dating alcohol use like they're getting to that point where they they really want to age up they they want to have every type of game there's a, a scary game that's supposed to be scary <gasps> oh jesus God, that scared me. Like everyone knows about doors and stuff, but there's a there's a lot of uh high graphic scary games out there. Yeah, doors was another one that made me really happy when it came out and like XQC started playing it. How is this Roblox? I thought Roblox was for a 
A small ant. I thought Roblox is what you play is when you're still in the womb. Like this, this is a, uh, if you put this on Steam, <laughs> there's a little man in there. I wouldn't have known the difference. I wouldn't say, oh, this is a stupid Roblox game. You suck. I'm going to find out where you live and do, and do this to you because of the game you made. No, I'd say good job. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I mean, it felt like he was my guardian. I'm listening to a little girl's phone call. Maybe I shouldn't do that as a 20, as a 30, as a 36 year old man, which is how old I am. I shouldn't be doing that, but I just can't stop. Ah, oh God, there's water. Man, shut up. Stop your yapping, woman. That, ah! oh. Let me tell you, I love soda. I love soda. There's a light coming out from under. Well, that solves that problem and I shouldn't even bother. I know. Oh, it's still moving. <laughs> All right. I acknowledged fear for my life. Someone had a lot, for someone fearing for their life, they had a lot of time to write stuff on here. Hey, who's this sweet little robot looking at me? If you ever hear the melody, just close your eyes. What did you say? He said, if you ever hear the melody, close your eyes. You think this is a uh, kid's game? I have grown men whispering in my ear. If this was a kid's game, that would be illegal. So take that, Roblox deniers. I'm just picking up litter. I think that's the whole- ah! Hey. Scary Skellington. You. Ho, 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 I'm the best. All right. Ooh. Here we go. See, this is a demo. I feel like a lot of these, uh, you know, these games clearly take a long time to make and Roblox development teams are, uh, much smaller generally than, uh, big Call of Duties, but I feel like once we get the ball rolling, these types of games are gonna be kind of, uh, the norm someday. Like I said earlier with the showcase thing, I think Roblox needs a better place to put like age 13 up games because you could have a, you could have a game where you like actually cut someone's head off. Like this is a very detailed game about blood and guts. And then you got, um, you could probably scroll a, a little bit and then find a game that's made for like little babies. I, I like that like a tiny bit away from the Roblox's bloodiest, goriest game. You have uh, a little, a sweet dance studio. They need some type of separation. Um, and I think that would, that would make their game, make Roblox a lot more uh, easily accessible for older people. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this? See, look at this. These are some graphics right here. This is a man and a horse and nothing will get in between them. What happened to his other leg right here? What happened? <laughs> Someone took a bite out of the- Hey! I was- I was taken down for showing the truth of what happens around here. Yeah, like, there's a lot of, like, really good MMOs and stuff, um, but, you know, some of them- I feel like once the graphics catch up, uh... You're gonna look like an idiot when the graphics catch up. Either that or I'm a loser and I really need to move on with my life. 